All right, let's take a look at a trick called magnified lens morph trick. So here, again, I have a picture. It's a nice big high res picture. And watch what happens here when I click. A little lens that's magnified comes in from the outside. And let's back that up so you can see it again. As it moves across the screen, it is magnifying as it goes, right? I like it. Let's zoom into this suspicious looking car here. <laughs> I don't know if this is like a crime scene video or whatever, but let's go ahead and repeat that process and zoom up a little bit. Oh, there's a mysterious boat. And then let's zoom our lens off the screen. Okay, so kind of a fun effect. Interesting, right? Let's go ahead and kind of see how to do such a thing. And let me see here. Let's go ahead and start this thing from scratch. Let's insert us a new slide, a blank slide. And let's go grab this picture and we'll paste it on here. Okay, so here, just have a picture on a slide. And what I'm going to do to start with is I'm going to click on it. I'm going to control D to duplicate. So now I have two copies of it and I'm just going to snap this up to be right on top of the original picture. Right. So now I have two copies of this. Let's go to the selection pane and on this top copy I want to rename this so I don't get confused because this can get confusing. So I'm going to call the top copy Zoom. right? And the next thing I'm going to do is I want to create that circular lens effect. So what you might think I might do is go to crop and crop this to a shape and maybe crop it to a circle. And then when I click crop to execute that, well, you notice that that's just no good. It's an ellipse. It's not a circle. So here's a little trick for you. Let's undo that. Again, I'm on my zoom copy. Let's go to crop. I'm going to crop to an aspect ratio and I'm going to crop to a one by one. Right. And then I'm also going to crop to the shape. The circle. Since the dimensions of this are now one by one, cropping to a circle or an oval gets us execute the crop, a circle. Right? Okay, so that's great. Now, obviously it's a little bit big, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to hold the control and the shift key and reduce this. That helps me maintain the uh, constraints of it. Okay, and then I need to get my lens area down to where I want to zoom into, right? Here's the tricky part. If I just grab this and move it down, it's not going to work. Oh, you see, you'll end up grabbing the picture underneath. So here's the trick. You have to very carefully, and I'm actually going to zoom in here. You have to very carefully take your cursor Okay, and you have to move it right to the bounding of our crop shape. Click, and now I can move my bubble. So I'm just going to kind of move it something like that. Let's zoom out a little bit. And now, on the zoom part, while I still have my crop mode here, I'm just going to zoom or make this picture bigger. I need to zoom out more. There we go. I probably should have cropped this some and put my zoom, what I want to zoom into, in the crop. Okay, so now let's go ahead and crop that. Zoom in a little bit. Okay, now it actually zoomed in there, but it doesn't look much like a lens, right? So once we get to this point, let's add us an effect. Uh, we'll format the picture. And on the effects here, Let's go ahead and we're going to use a shadow, a drop shadow. 
So I'm not going to use a regular shadow. I'm going to use an inner shadow. Let's select this one, which is inside center. Okay, and you can see it kind of gives a little bit of a effect there. Let's bump the transparency to 40%. Let's bump the blur to 40 pixels. And let me see, I might even add just a little bit of an outline to it. And maybe just, just a little bit. Let's add a couple pixels on that guy. So this is my final state, right? Remember, we're going to be using Morph here. So this is my final state. Let's right click and duplicate the slide. That's my final state. Let's go back up one and we want to make this uh, come in from the outside. Now you might be tempted to think that you could just grab this, move it off to the off the slide and have morph get us to our final result. That's not going to work, but there's a trick. And it's kind of an awesome trick. <laughs> so let's click on this. I'm going to zoom out a bit because I know I'm probably going to need to. And again, I'm on my first slide, so I'm setting my beginning state. And let's go to picture format and click the crop again. Okay, I can see the size of the slide. Okay, a darker background here. And again, I want to very carefully grab my crop circle and at this point I can move it anywhere else I want and where I want is I'm going to start off screen and put it right there. Okay now I'll crop that. Let's go to our second slide add the morph transition and boom there you go. Let's take a look at that. Using that little technique, again, my starting position is our circle is where? Off screen, right? And it's going to zoom in or zoom across. Morph does all the magic here. There's no motion paths, none of that garbage. And gets me to my final state. Okay, so then I can repeat that process. Let's right click, duplicate the slide. Let's click on our image and we'll make a change. Again, go to picture format, crop, be very careful, and move this to where you want to zoom to next. Let go, crop, and then let's bring it home. Let's copy our original, paste it here. Make sure the morph transition is there. And run it. Dun, dun, dun. Zoom with lens. And get out of here, right? Okay, so hopefully that's kind of fun. Any questions on that guy? <laughs>